MC Fix It here. We're working on an exhaust fan that is really loud um, and you can obviously tell it's pretty dirty as well. So instead of just replacing, I'm going to show you how you can kind of clean it and maybe solve your problem with a really loud fan. So let's go ahead and turn the fan on. So I'm not sure how much of that is going to pick up how bad the problem was. Uh, with the camera um, but it is quite loud and this is just a simple tutorial on how to fix that loudness on a lot of different uh, applications. This is a Broen fan um, and should work for a lot of other varieties of fans as well. Here are the tools you're going to need for this project. You're going to want a step ladder, a flathead screwdriver, some kind of pliers, even needle nose work, some kind of toothbrush scraping tool, um, compressed air, you can also use an air compressor, a little shot vac, um, or something similar, even a vacuum that has the extendable arm on it. All of those will really help you make this project a success. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a flathead screwdriver. Um, you sometimes can poke it on the different sides and get it to go in, uh, but this normally works the best. This will lower down. You can see it's got tabs and they go inside of there. Um, You'll just set that off to the side to begin with um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is get either a toothbrush um, or something like a toothbrush. I have this black scrubber I like a lot and then you are also going to use some kind of shop vac or something like that to help keep it clean as you are scrubbing this um, and then we'll take off the light bulb and get behind there. So you're going to turn on the shop vac as you're kind of brushing it to help kind of keep the dirt away from getting on everything in your room. Uh, if you have towels or rugs or anything out, go ahead and pick those up before you do this. So you could have taken this down, which I'm going to show you in just one second, but I think it's better while it's up there to go ahead and get all the stuff out of the way. The next thing you're going to do is unscrew the light bulb because we will be taking this off and actually cleaning it pretty well in the sink in a few moments, but some of these you can pull off by hand. Some of you will need a pair of uh, pliers to get started. You get that nut off and continue to hold that up because underneath here, are two sets of wires and you're going to see how dirty this is and you're going to need to unplug the first one and then the other one is right here um, at this time we're actually going to leave that one in for a second so in this one actually kind of got the whole outlet put out so i want to make sure the power is off for this um, and so make sure your switch is off and then go out to your typically garage or any place that your electrical panel is to find the fuse box in the house open it up and you're going to kind of search through all my and so i'm guessing it's going to be this one right here uh, that says bathroom number one bathroom number two since there's only two bathrooms you will just flip that all the other ones will be pushed kind of towards the center here and so that pushes that off now that there is no power in this room um, I did pull this out, which is not good. So that is just an outlet that kind of comes in and out. And I'm going to try to push that back up in. And it did go back up and in. And you can probably see why we were having some issues. Look how dirty this is. Now, you can take this entire assembly out. Typically, you're going to have to go through your crawl space. Um, not your crawl space, your attic. I don't know why I said crawl space. Your attic uh, to get access to that. Um, and it's kind of a labor intensive thing. So we're going to just try to clean it from the base and see if it helps out. So same concept, you're going to grab your brush and your shot back.
Also, sometimes I do want to let you know, if you turned off the power in your bathroom, a lot of times that outlet will go out as well, so you will need to run an extension cord like I have. Um, another option is to use a condensed can of air to kind of spray it out, use these for a lot of computer parts. Um, and then I'm gonna also, as you can see it falling, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shot back as well to just kind of suck that up so we're not creating as much of a mess. It also is really important that you get your fan really clean up in here too, so I'm just going to kind of push it around with the end and uh, vacuum. So now that you've got that pretty clean, I'm going to go ahead and go back downstairs and check to make sure uh, the fan works properly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug it back in before I go do that. And with the brown, uh, the black goes on the black and the white is for the lights. So this is your black wire. It goes there. I'm going to go run down and turn that back on. Now that we have that turned back on, this should just do the fan. Sounds a whole lot better. Um, so we solved that problem. We still need to uh, go ahead and finish cleaning up the rest of the bracket. It looks pretty good, but uh, still has some work to do. This is pretty much the same concept we were just doing. Um, you do not want to get water on the actual device here. So do not turn on the water, but you can go ahead and really just start scraping it. getting all that dust out. This will just help prevent it from uh, re-clogging as quickly. You technically could just put all this back up, but then you're putting all this stuff right back up to where you already had the problem. So after you've got that pretty well cleaned like that, you can go ahead and hit it with some air. Um, another option as well, um, if you do have an air compressor, um, you can like take this out in your garage and hit it up um, or wherever your air compressor is located. And then once you've got that pretty well done, go ahead and take some paper towels. Just get them a little bit wet. And then you can really just get the rest of that dust off to really help prevent this from happening again in the near future. Um, this is just a good way to just get this nice and clean. Again, you do not want it soft and wet, but uh, just a little bit of a damp towel works really well. And then you can just throw it away at the end, which is why I like that versus a rag. I guess you can throw a rag away, but if it's a dish towel or something, uh, your spouse will hate you because you just made it all nasty. Set that off to the side and then you can go ahead and grab this cover um, this can be put in water and so using the same thing you just kind of go back and forth and get that all nice and clean the goal of this is so it just doesn't build up as quick and that the ventilation can actually work properly because the ventilation is only working um, on the sides here of this it doesn't go through the light pretty obvious um, so there's not a whole lot of space for it to go through if these are all clogged up. 
So do this every year or so and your fan should last a lot longer. It's just a little bit of preventative maintenance that goes a long way. Go ahead and let that air dry for a minute or two. You can also go and start kind of cleaning up your area. Um, that'll help make whoever you live with happy that you didn't just ruin their whole area. Um, but yeah, just give that a minute or two to dry. You can kind of shake it off if you'd like. Now that you've got it all cleaned off, you're gonna go ahead and take your plastic and metal piece and slide one inside the other until it fits in properly and is seated correctly. And it should look like this. And then you are going to put this outlet back in. And then you are gonna push this up and you're going to look for the center and you should see that right there and you put your nut on it. Be very careful with pliers to not do it too hard, just a little bit of an extra turn. You go ahead and put your light back in. This is a great time to change out lights if you haven't put an LED in yet. Uh, save yourself some electricity. Cost of all that's probably just gonna continue to skyrocket. Put that up and on. Go ahead and start it back up and your project is complete. That was so much quieter than what it was. This is MC Fix It here. Please like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. Thank you guys for supporting my channel.